Hi, I'm Appaloosa, and this is your beginner tutorial on scissors, also known as bubbles or squizzles. And this is sort of a beginner slash intermediate tutorial, and let's get right to it. So to start the scissor, we're going to turn our toes out. Depending on how much you turn your toes out, your feet may go really fast in opposite directions. So try not to go too wide, maybe a narrow piece of pizza to start. Weight is in the center of your feet, and we're going to bend our knees. Push down on your feet in the center, let them roll out, create a parallel, and then pull them back in. Don't let them run into each other. Again, toes turned out, weight in the center, bend your knees, start to push down into the ground, let them roll out, parallel, and pull them back in using your inner thighs and your toes. You can always hit safety position with your toes straight if you need to. We also call this pizza french fry. It's like you're drawing a pizza shape and then a french fry shape. A pizza shape and then a french fry shape. Let's try to do two in a row. So pushing down, let them roll out, pull them back in, parallel, and push back out. Now try to keep your weight sort of in the back, back and center. Never take the weight all the way off your toes and never straighten your knees all the way. Your feet can go out from underneath you. So we're going to bend our knees, but keep the weight more in the back, center back. Push down, let them roll out, and pull back in. You'll have a better roll if the weight is more towards the back. Now, only if you're ready for this, we can give the feet a little bit more gumption by pushing down into the ground a little harder, keeping the knees bent, and pulling in a little faster. Now an intermediate trick is to do one forward, one backward. We haven't got to backwards yet, but let's just try that because we're just going to be basically going on one track forward and backwards. So same thing, start with your feet in a V. We're going to roll out into one scissor forward, not letting the toes touch, so having the control to stop your feet. Push down on the toe wheels and try to go back on the same track. One forward one backward. Now once you do the one backward, you have to start pulling your heels back towards each other. If your weight is on the toe wheels, it's easier to start to pull the heels towards each other. So isometrically pull. Otherwise, if you don't do that, they're just going to keep rolling in opposite directions. I don't think you were hoping for that this morning. And you don't want your wheels to come off the floor. It's just more, you know, pushing on your toes and your boots. I could do this all day. It's very meditative. One forward, one backward. Another fun thing you can do with the scissors, just kind of roll out and hit a pose. I just like to do that. <laughs> so we're going to begin to learn how to do a beginner style two foot spin. This is moving on towards intermediate. So the beginner way to do a two foot spin is just to march in a circle, opening the toes, keeping the heels close together, and try the other direction. Now the intermediate way to do a two foot spin is to leave the feet on the floor, the wheels on the floor, Starting with one foot at a time, draw a circle, heels to heels, toes to toes. So left foot, heel to heel, right foot, toe to toe. Left foot, heel to heel, right foot, toe to toe. And you'll notice I'm going to the left. This is my easy way, and this is the way we teach most uh, students to turn. You can definitely go towards the right as well. Left foot, heel to heel, right foot, toe to toe. Okay. You're going to keep your weight on your left big toe wheel and your right inside heel wheel if you're turning to the left. That allows your heel wheel of your left foot to e more easily turn and the toes of your right foot to more easily turn. So just keep your pressure in those two spots as you rotate around. 
one foot at a time. Left foot heel to heel, right foot toe to toe. Now if that's your hard way and you want to go the other way, you're going to keep your weight on the inner big toe wheel of your right foot and the inside heel wheel of your left foot. And same thing. One foot at a time, left foot toe to toe, right foot heel to heel. Heel to heel, toe to toe, and just one foot at a time. So that's kind of the beginner way to learn a two foot spin. If you want to know the intermediate way, then check out the intermediate two foot spin tutorial. Well, that's it for scissors, bubbles, and swizzles today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.